It is the third quarter final, ladies and gentlemen, of the ongoing 32 man weekly comp that is organized regularly here at Amigos Sports Bar Kansanga Kampala. The players on table are Ian Nikazwe taking on Ibrahim Sejemba and they are racing to seven for a place in the semi-final to take on the winner between Hazard and Edia. My name is Peter Chebe. It is the second frame of the match. The first was won by Ian who leads 1-0. Ibra to break. A boy raised by combination of Capital Knight Polo Club as well as Mambole Polo Club in Bukoto and Kalere respectively in the city of Kampala. He's too young to He's too young to achieve all that he has achieved currently, one of the best players, not only in Uganda, not just in East Africa, but entirely on the African continent. A player right now with the Roxbury Pearl Club. He has won three league titles, the last three with three of the different clubs he has featured for everywhere he has been. He has been winning the National Pearl League of Uganda. With Capture Night 2017, yes, and Tinder Giants 2018 to 19, and then right after lockdown with Mali Polo Club. In between, he had a short spell playing semi professional pool with Sharks Polo Club in the Zambia National Pool League. They came second. Last time he had a match with Ian was exactly two weeks ago today when they first off in the semi-finals of the beginning of the year comp and Ibra lost 5-7 after leading 5-0. Actually he lost 6-7. The two are of course on the Uganda national team that represented Uganda at the Howley Cup in Johannesburg and in that tournament in the doubles Ian was eliminated at the round of last eight with his teammate Habib Sebuguzi he also played mixed doubles teaming up with Rashida Motesi they were first runners up to the South African pair of Irfan Williams and his sister. Mixed doubles is where many play with ladies and it was under 23 category. He has represented his last team as Captain Knight Pool Club holds one record in the Uganda Pool League as the first and only player ever to break and finish three games in one league match in the league it is four games played by five players making 20 so every player lags four times plays four games he is the only player ever to have scored three apples out of the four games played in the 21 year history of uganda's pool league as for ibra sejemba his record is being the first player ever to win a major competition in pool outside of Uganda borders when he won the Matthew Mulube Championship organized at the OIDC in Lusaka, Zambia in 2019 after defeating Zambia's number one seeded player Victor Sinyenza in the final. Of course he also became the second player to do what he did before after he won the Grand Mchana Open at Mchana Pub and Grill in Nairobi after defeating Tanzania's Saith in the final, the tournament in which he outclassed Malvan Mokonza Maluva, Aiden Joseph, South Africa, 
Colin Tway of Kenya, Cornelius Keegan also from Kenya, winning a very, very, very convincing event. In the meantime, Ian won a Brazil race to seven here at Amigos Kansanga. that equalizer scores are now leveled at one piece of course Ibra has unfinished business with Ian most especially after that humiliating defeat during the beginning of the year championship that was organized at Tickles and Giggles Kampala exactly two weeks ago today Ibra laid 5-0 and then lost 7-6 it was quite humiliating to a player of his level it's the second time I've ever seen him give away such an insurmountable lead the first one of course being that money match with Zimbabwe's Timothy Wanida Sakala at the Queen's Sports Club late last year. A money match with a thousand US dollars at stake. Ibra then lost 16-15 after leading 11-3. He became a very fond player on the African continent around 2020 when for some reason he decided to head start actually to handicap all Ugandan players besides four whom he named those included Mansur Caesar, Kasozi and Geoffrey Setumba. He said the rest were no black material and invited them to money matches with the opponents only having to put their reds or yellows and not dare even to touch the black and he defeated most of the players those who 
dared to play against him. The most notorious of them is being Amos Jagumanawe, the famous Amos, and Alfred Gumiki is a black sheep. But also Isaac Sebufu, Alan Nsubuga, and yes, even Ibrahim Makayanja then. Actually, with Ibrahim Kanja, it was not no black. Ibra lost the no black money matches to two players, Habib Sebuguzi and Ivan Morongi. The two players defeating him, a combined total of five times, and that was the end of the no black contest. Otherwise, it gained a lot of respect for him even daring to handicap such good players way above his own experience with that no black thing. He's looking to make a second consecutive one visit clearance. He is normally unbeatable when his breaks are on. There we go. The next task will be most likely to roll the white ball move it around the black and maybe put both balls in the same pocket though it will be a little bit risky should the white ball contact any of the reds he could have himself snookered he instead goes for the center pocket right idea and right execution Two one, Ibra up. Between 200 to 300 people are now at the venue. Well decided to see off their weekend by enjoying this comp. Of course also as they get notifications of proceeding ongoing in Johannesburg of staff between Jerry and Caesar currently at 10 all. Thank you. 
Ian is so precise many of the times with his white ball movement here he will just slice off that first yellow of the two that are near the center with the white ball removing Ibra's red that is nearing the pocket and that will that will clear his path to make his second clearance He will be sinking this block in the corner pocket on the left of your screen. Slow, but not perfect. He still has a grip on the game though. Even when you're Ibra, this game is not easy at all. The red game. It has to be a total snooker, this. He has options either to play off one or two cushions. He could decide to try out a mass shot. Either way, the most likely scenario is that he could foul. He goes for the mass shot and finds the black and wins the frame very 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 beautifully Ian 2 Ibra 2 Elia Chimuli is leading 6-4 Again it's Hazard Remember it's a race to 7 So Elia is one away From reaching the semi-final To take on whoever Wins this match While the last quarter final Shall be played between Mawa Gideon and Ibrahim Kayanja Musilamo and the winner of that one will be taking on Kasozi Joseph in the semis.
You are watching the third quarter final of a 32 man comp that is ongoing here at Amigos in Kansanga. It is the return of weekly comps in Ugandan pool. They are very, very, very crucial in maintaining players' fitness, maintaining competitiveness, and of course, earning the players' money. Testing their own levels. Actually, many managers base on the form exhibited in tournaments like this one to stake on those players in bigger comps to move them around the places and, of course, bigger money matches. Last year, these tournaments became so synonymous with Caesar because he won so many of them in Uganda like it had been done in Zambia. By the way, it is an idea that was copied, I would say, in Zambia. But nowadays, Zambia does so few of them, and yet it is Uganda that does so many of them. Ibra has won himself a few. I remember one at Amigos here. I think he won two of them at Portit, also in Kampala. Also many a times he was not participating. I really want to see who, who of the Ugandan players, the top Ugandan players, will grab the bull by, bull by the horns when the other bull is not in the country, and that is Caesar. Good game reading, good execution. He will intend to put both balls, yellow and black, in the same pocket with white ball moving round the red. He used a little less energy than he hoped he would, but he should be good to go. Has to be careful with the cue ball. Target is on. Ibra 3, Ian 2. He needs this one, Ibra. He needs this one, Ian. Always crucial for these players in such short races not to allow to go down by big scholars on the other table. Elia Chimoli is on the verge of eliminating Lukomo Hazard. And yes, as I speak, Elia Jr. sinks in the seventh black and Hazard is out of the tournament. Lukomo Hazard 
is out of the tournament. It will be Elia Junior Chimuli to face the winner of this match in the semis. Wonderful, 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 wonderful shooting, Ibra. I'm not yet so sure. Maybe I will be advised by his team whether he will be traveling to China as he did last year for the World Hay Ball Championships. Happening in March so far, I know of two players, Caesar and Dog City. By the way, every member association, every member country of the World Hay Ball Federation is represented by their player and the invite is given to whoever is seeded number one. So in this case, it is Caesar. But other players can participate at their own cost. So Caesar will be having an all expenses paid trip. Last year he did travel with Ibra, who had his expenses paid by his management. to play hay ball, also known as Chinese pool, on the big table. The fans are appreciating and applauding what they are seeing of Ibra. Leads 3-2. He's on the black trying to make it for it won't come easy. Actually it is it just won't be easy, it will be very difficult. He could go for the center pocket, very difficult. He could go for the corner pocket. Goes for the corner pocket. And a big, big, big miss it was. Nowhere near close to porting. Ian has to be careful. It is easy to fall from here. He misses the pot. Equally risky for Ibra. Wanting a very big cut could make him play black off the red. Either leading to a foul, a standard foul or a loss of frame foul. And the Ibra fouls. How 
a game in black ball can change over a split second he could very easily have won that frame in that shot and yet it seems he is losing that frame in with the same shot Jerome Nabasa is asking the seed one last year. Last year the invitation was last year the plus session of Uganda went with Caesar because the last time Uganda had participated in a Chinese pool in an organized event it was Caesar who performed best. So that's why he was considered. This time the World Haibo Federation has been so clear by the invitation letter which I also have a copy of they invited the number one seeded player <laughs> Medi Kasumba you are making fun of Hazo you are supporting Mayweather Manafa Kim supporting Ian thank you for watching Every time Ibra gets his nose up front, Ian finds a way to respond. Even this game where he had no right to try and win, he has ended up winning it. An equalizer, Ibra 3, Ian 3. It's a foul on the break. Advantage Ibra. He will definitely be playing the Reds. Not only are they positioned better, he also has the two shots, which should push him into the lead for the third time. Actually, second time. The last quarter final between Ibrahim Kayanja and Mawa Gideon has also started. Winner to play Joseph Kasozi. Updates from that one will be coming as well. And the update from South Africa is like Jerry is that Jerry leads 13 11 against Caesar. Mawa Gideon 1, Ibrahim Kayanja 0, Ibrahim Sajemba 3, Ian Kazibi 3. Only one player is 
actually two players are already in the semis, Eria Jr. and Joseph Kasozi. Eria Jr. will be taking on the winner of this match, while Joseph Kasozi will be taking on the winner of the match between Kayanja Ibra and Mawa Gideon, in which, like I've said, Ibra Kayanja is one nil down. His name, Seki Ibra Sejimba, is here taking the lead once again in the closest of the semi finals that we have had so far. Ibra 4, Ian 3. Yes, for those of you joining the stream right now, it is the third and fourth quarterfinals going on. One of them is not live. We are having a 32-man weekly competition happening in Kampala at Amigos. Kansanga players on table are Ian Kazwe and Ibrahim Sejemba. They are racing to seven for a place in the semi-final to take on either Gideon Mawa or Ibrahim Kayanja, who are also having their game live in play and Ibra is leading for three so far. It is a very entertaining match as entertaining as the last one between Kasozi who came from 4 nil down to defeat Dog City 7-5 Ian Kazibi has simply refused to let go. One of those games when one player is having a better game and the other is simply stubborn. It will be very important for Ibra to demonstrate that 
the time that Caesar is not in the country, he is the only bull in the kraal. But like you probably already know, Uganda is not in shortage of talent of this sport. Anybody can beat anybody. A little known Mawagidioni is leading 1-0 against former Sidwan Ibrahim Kayanja. Also in the quarterfinal, imagine if an unknown player went or qualified for the semi-finals. Last time Ibra and Ian faced off in a match of this magnitude, it was the beginning of the uh, comp game that was organized exactly two weeks ago today at Tikos and Giggles also in Kampala. On that day, Ibra went 5-0 up in a race to 7 and then he lost 7-6. Very humiliating defeat it was. He has a chance to make amends and he has to make the corrections now. There is another comp that is coming up. If I'm not mistaken, it could be this coming weekend across Uganda's eastern border, Nairobi, Kenya. It is dubbed the All Stars event where it is strictly the top players in Kenya. But there are two wild card entries for two Ugandans. One of them is participating in this 32-man comp. The other is not participating and many of you are watching him at the same time down south. Ibra to play a backspin which will pretty much give him bring him closer to victory by the body language by the white balance it seems he will want to play not in the center pocket but in the corner pocket closes your screen such that the pot of the yellow opens up the pocket he even plays better he can decisively put the black ball in the corner pocket. I uh, thought he would want to put both his red and black in the same pocket. He goes for another chase, which is even a better chase. For the first time in the match, he leads by two games. And yes, Ibra five. Ian three. Race to seven. I can see Maurice Luima on the stream. Thank you for watching. Say Isaac Matic supporting Ibra. Kamadi Uji supporting Ibra. Mobs Mosh. You say you miss me in South Africa. South Africa, we are well represented by, the, by my friend Francis Mokwekwe. I also have some time to peep into the other battle, but I'll have to focus on this one. And yes, I can see Nich Nichelle Sofly on the stream. She doesn't want me to say it, that she is the first lady of Team Manimed. Also watching and of course praying that Ibra wins this match. Eliam Pala watching from Zimbabwe. Welcome to the stream. It is Ian trying to do something he has done before and not so long before. He humiliated Ibra by winning a match 
in the semi-final of a much bigger comp than this one after going 5-0 down. By the way, in the other last quarter final, Mawagedion is surprisingly leading 2 0 against the favorite Ibrahim Kayanja. Here, 5 3 it still is, the other Ibra in the lead, while on the other table, Ibrahim Kayanja has pulled one back. He is now two, one down against Gideon Mawa. Today, I see flexes of Ian not being as lethal, as lethal as he has made us use to him. As his opponent now plays to open up the game, not lucky with the opening. Given the positioning of that yellow behind the black and Ian's red, he is playing with that ball in mind now. Once again, the, it's not enough, just less energy than he needed. He wanted to get good weight to be able to put it in the corner pocket in the background of your screen on the left. Jonas watching from Botswana. Welcome to the stream. Mathibi Ranko Jonas. Chikawa Ricky also supporting Ibra. While Musisi Vincent even more says his DNA is Ibra as the guy whose DNA you share makes what should be a game winning shot. Yes, in one shot, he opened up both balls that we are giving Ian a grip on this frame. Top, top, top players always are able to create magic when they need magic and in the last few moments we have just seen Ibra doing exactly that. And as long as he sinks in this yellow he's looking at corner pocket on the top of your screen with the top spin on the white ball of course because he wants the white ball to follow the, the object ball at least up to around the middle of the table he does exactly that the rest is now a formality Ibra is about to take a 6-3 lead Ian has been getting his chances at times not utilizing them as little as he sometimes does. This will be the most beautiful of all Ibra's clearances in this match. He now leads 6-3. Someone's asking how long Caesar is going to be in South Africa. Just a few days. Just a few days. Sportsmen do not get a very elongated visa in South Africa. That is for countries that are not visa-free. Supposed to be visa-free country, Uganda, starting the 1st of January, but it's not yet in practice. That is why he will not be there for a long time. In fact, maybe, maybe, maybe he's expected in Nairobi next week, if not the week after, for the All Stars comp. Etienne Alan Akila supporting Ibra says make sure Ibrahim Razak says where is Mr. Headstart? Razak says who is Mr. Headstart? I don't know of any player called Mr. Headstart. Please tell me who Mr. Headstart is. Francis Lomalink supporting Ibra. Anwad Mlambo saying Caesar is playing today. Yes, he is right now on the Keep Pixels photography page having a mouth-watering money match down against Ganda Ganda. 
Medica Sumba says fire. It is this. Expectation is that the the semi final to be streamed. The first one should be the one between Kasozi and the winner of Kayanja, Ibra and Mawagidion. Then there is another semi final between the winner of this match. Most likely Ibra who will be taking on Eria Junior. I could stream one of them, I could stream both of them on the two streaming platforms break and finish Facebook and break and finish YouTube. Meanwhile, Ibra 3, Ibra 6, Ian 3, racing to 7 for Ian to win this match. He must win all remaining four games, including this one. Any game won by Ibra and Ian is out.
He has no room to blink in, no room to blunder, no room to error. Any mistake gone done, he will be returning home immediately. As if he's playing to open up the pockets where there is a red ball packed closest to your screen. As long as he draws the white ball in side motion, he instead opts to simply pot. It is looking as if Ibra is about to hammer the last nail in Ian's coffin with this clearance of the table. Can't believe the white ball rested at the only point on the table which where Ibrahim probably didn't want. Ian will inspect just to ensure that the white ball, the object ball is either touching the cushion or not, and it's not. And yet, Ibra finds a way to snooker. He will need a safety shot. Ian is not totally snookered. He can see part of the yellow. How good is the safety shot? It is good. No, 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 not good enough. Abra can see the ball and I'm sure he can pot. What is left to see is after the pot, if he can get the white ball in position to pot black ball in that center pocket. That means the white ball has to be, he will need a big back spin or a big top spin to get the white ball almost to the position where it is now. He's going for top spin. He's going for safety. 
and yes it is a perfect safety shot Once again, same shot played by Ian to the same effect, giving Ibra the same difficulty. This time Ibra maybe can play off caution. He's going for a mass shot effect on the cue ball and fouls. Oops, hold on. They foul. <laughs> In the meantime, Mawagidio now leads three one against Ibrahim Makayanja. The shock is on. There has been one shock in the quarterfinals so far as Elia Chimuli defeated Hazard. Seven four. Ian is just not playing to his very best. Finally, 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 Ian gets the two shots he has been craving for all game long. It as Ian's yellow makes what we call an abortion, jumping out of the cushion by the strength used by the player in order to achieve the positioning of the white ball he hoped for. Ian out.